Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Age of Wonders 4. We have just finished our first playthrough with Snuggles Meowicus. I, of course, I believe as this video is being posted, the final episode of that has not yet come out. So, shh, I didn't say anything. As you can see, we have in the background of our home screen the glorious Snuggles Meowicus ascending to the Pantheon. And we are going to... Let's click on progression. Just looking at the kind of playthrough I wish to go through. And so obviously then we have all of these glorious things in the background. I'm guessing just little... Uh, little race things that you can equip your heroes with. For a bit of customization. So we are going to go and throw in the knight equipment, basically. Knight icon banner. Knight cape. Tyrant. Knight hero origin. I like tyrant sword and shield. Sure. And there you go. We have no points left. So that's where we're going to leave that. Uh, let's turn off the Pantheon. And we are starting destination. a new game. And we are going to go for the story realm number one. We've just finished the beginner scenario. And as I mentioned at the end of the last video, we will be doing a simultaneous playthrough of either the Paradise Plains or the Spellworn Deserts. So if you would wish to see either one of those, chuck it down in the comments below. Let me know which one you'd rather see. And if you've got any ideas for a race and a general direction for tomes, etc. Good, evil, order, chaos, magic, shadow, etc, etc. Let me know in the comments down below. And we will attempt to incorporate that into our parallel series that we will be recording in either one of these two rounds. So let's, as I said, we're going to jump into the story round now. So let's keep going forward. We're going to play this on hard difficulty. We did the beginning scenario on medium. Was kind of a walkthrough, to be honest. So we're going to chuck this on hard. And just so you know, in this Valley of Wonders, as a mortal champion, build up a new home for your wandering tribe in the mythical Valley of Wonders. Prepare yourself for the clash with the returning Wizard Kings of old and rise in power to claim a greater destiny. On this round, we have mana resource nodes and pickups are abundant. You cannot live in the underground. The underground is much smaller and no threat. So throne city can be placed there. And there are ancient ruins of, elven, of ancient elven court to be found on this round. They can be rebuilt to found new cities. So we'll be going through for that. We are, of course, going to create a new faction. And I've decided we're going to be the rat people. This will give us 30% harder to hit by ranged attacks. And it gives us a plus 20% critical hit chance when standing next to a friendly unit with overwhelm tactics. So basically, two rats next to each other increase the critical hit chance. We're going to be rat people. I have decided we're going to be very industrious rat people. The realm we're going on to, I do not believe, allows evil factions. At least I don't think it does. They all seem to have been blanked out if you chose a pre-made. Or maybe those ones just aren't available in the story mode. Not entirely sure. But we are going to go for the industrious rat people. They can build a colony and start a new home faster than you can even blink. So we are going to be industrious. I also really like the models on these. I bought some industrious NPCs at the end of the last scenario with this shield and hammer. And I thought not only did they look amazing, the sound when the hammers hit is just phenomenal in my mind. It sounds so good to listen to. So we're going to be an industrious rat people. What defines their society? What does define their society? That is a good question. I went down for wonder art architects. That's right. These rats have lived in and amongst ancient wonders their whole life, scurrying from place to place, hole to hole. And they know where the deep dark secrets lay. And they have learned to be glorious wonder architects. That and wasn't entirely sure on the next one. We're not going to be anything that kind of goes into the evil. So we're going to avoid shadow. We're going to avoid chaotic. And I was kind of going between either devotees of good. Which... I don't know. I wasn't too set on for the for the rat people. I quite liked Adept Settlers. I get plus one city cap. Founding cities cost me less Imperium. And newly founded cities gain plus one population. That's right, isn't it? But they are rats. They live everywhere. You are apparently always within 
10 feet of a rat, depending on if you live in the city or in the country. But apparently you can't get away from them and they spring up like nobody's business. So, adept settlers seem to win it for me. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And Choose then, the we have to pick our first tome of magic. Now, of course, we are going to go for one of the industry. And we have either we can summon a copper, copper golem. Spell tempered shields gain plus one resistant. When entering defense mode, this unit and all adjacent allies receive plus one resistance until the start of the next turn. I wonder if you could overlap that. That would be amazing. Let's have your just have all your dudes in like a six block moving forward with perfect resistance. Grants physical ranged attacks of enchanted units plus one range. Grants physical ranged attacks of enchanted units. Okay. So any units I enchant get plus one. Yeah, got it. Got it. Sorry, that was a bit of a... It said, it said enchanted units. I was thinking magical units. And it became a bit of a mind mess around. Grants base melee attacks of enchanted units. Knights of enchants have inflicted sunder defense, reducing enemy defense. Demolisher, making them able to destroy reinforced obstacles. That is very nice. Awaken tools. Target friendly city has plus 20 protect, production, plus 20 draft, but minus 10 city stability. Still not bad though. And this will also give me, well, material affinity, of course. A Rune Carver's Camp, Special Province Improvement. Counts as a quarry. Unit Deployment Location, very nice. Gives me a bit more draft and three mana per adjacent quarry. Must be built on an acquired province. Gives me Sundering Strikes. Makes base melee and physical ranged attacks gain. 60% chance of inflicting Sundered Defense. Demolisher. Also gives you the Demolisher perk. Cost me, will cost me one skill point. That is obviously going to be one of my hero skills. So the other one was... I can summon a Gargoyle. Uh, no, I can recruit a gargoyle. I can summon a lesser stone spirit. Yep, that is right. Rock Blast deals 30 physical damage to a target enemy unit. Stone skin, target gains stone skin for three turns, which I assume, yep, plus three defense, resistance, minus three spiritual resistance. Oh, interesting. Earthkin. A minor race transformation right from the beginning. Make rock growths develop on the target race, granting them plus one defense. Rock camouflage, which allows them to hide on rocky terrain. Rock wall, which allows them to traverse rock, rocky terrain faster. And with this, I will get a central quarry as a special province improvement, which gives me more production and more production per adjacent quarry. That could be amazing for smashing out some production early on. And obsidian weaponry. For my hero, which means base melee and physical ranged attacks gain a base 60% chance of inflicting bleeding. Plus 5, plus 5. I assume they both do plus 5, plus 5. Yeah, you would think so. I am going to go for Tome of Rock. We are going to become a rock people, basically. I mean, yeah, it's... it's Why not? We are... We have learned to live underground. We have been burrowing through anything. Rats apparently can burrow through steel, so rock was no problem for us. And we learned to use this rock to our advantage, ladies and gentlemen. And we became a glorious, industrious people. So let's select that. My... Yeah, okay. I was actually hoping to play a wizard, but I uh, guess we'll do that on a different playthrough. And so we're going to be a champion, because I think that's what you have to be. Because the wizards are coming back, and I feel like I'm going to have to kill them. All cities have plus 10% gold and income and plus 20 city stability. All non-hero units gain plus 20% experience. And I start with plus 100 relation with free cities. So I, of course, I'm going to be a champion. Reveal yourself. Hey, 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 reveal myself. You behave yourself. We are going to change the color of the banner. Let's go for orange background with a, a white symbol. No, I don't like a white symbol. Yellow, maybe? How about we go for a darker symbol? Yep, with a... Yeah, I'm going to go for the... Yeah, dark with an orange symbol. I like that, I like that. The ruler can have... Oh, he is going to have a great hammer. Yes, very much to that. Body type. Oh, you mean male or female? We are going to stick with male. Physique. Oh, how big is he? He's going to be... He's going to be medium. Medium. Arm length. Let's... Yep. Uh, I'm going to do one less. But they have, of course, learned to use their arms to burrow through the rock their whole lives. Leg length. Let's make you a little bit taller. 
What do I make you like a skitterer? Do I make you a very small people? Oh, which no, sorry, not that one. Do you know what? Yes, we are going to make him very small. Very small indeed. Skin color. This is pretty much just changing the color of his nose, which we're going to make red. Oh, and his legs, to be fair, but most of him is staying roughly the same. We are going to go red. Skin decoration. I do quite like it that just his extras are red. So we're going to keep him with a, with a dark skinned face. The nice black color with a red trim going all around. So we're going to keep that on there. Pose. Yes! Hold that Warhammer with pride. The head. No, we're not going to go for... Oh, we're going to go for clean whiskers. A nice set of beautiful straight whiskers. Eye colour. I can't even see his eyes properly. I'm not sure how much it matters. Like I said, you can't even see them. Buried in his head too much. I can see that one a bit better. Hairstyle. Ooh, I'm... I'm liking the spikes, I think. Yeah, we're going to go for spikes. That's his hair colour. Hairstyle. Eyebrows. We're going to go for absolutely ridiculous eyebrows. Beard style. Hang on, this is, this is quite oh, clean shaven. Kind of difficult to see. That wasn't clean shaven. Oh, so, so side chops. Oh, we've got the little the little front. Oh, that's clean shaven. We don't want clean shaven. We're going to go for the little straight beard coming down. Hair color top. Oh, we're going to... Oh, do we give him a nice... Nah, I don't like blonde. <laughs> don't like blonde. Although, hang on. I say that. Let's see if we... And uh, no, fully blonde doesn't really make a difference. Let's... I don't know where this bottom hair thing is coming in. Oh, yeah. He's having bright red hair, ladies and gentlemen. Blessed by the lava deep under the mountain. Our glorious champion who has rose from the depths with his fiery red hair gifted to him from deep in the bowels of the furnace itself. He will lead his industrious people forward to the glory of the champions of the Gode. Oh, something along those lines. I'm actually not quite sure what I'm doing. Let's look at the outfit. Oh, I like that last one a fair bit. No, we're going to go for this one. The big and chunky braces. Nice cloak. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Helmet. I think that's the one I just unlocked. The Knight Errant Helmet. I must say I'm not feeling that one. That's more of a magic thing. I'm going to go for no helmet simply because his hair and his beard are glorious. And his cape. Let's have a look at his cape, shall we? Oh, no cape whatsoever. Nah, man needs a cape. Man definitely needs a cape. He's not a superhero. He can have a cape. With a big headrest. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. At one point in his life, tragedy struck. However, his people told him, Take us with you. Make of us a cloak so you shall never forget our sacrifice. And we shall always be with you. We shall protect you in your trials going forward. Rebuild this world for us. And so there you go. He also has an absolutely glorious furry cloak. Armor color. Oh, no, let's not go black. See, red is... Red's a bit on point with his beard, which quite goes quite nice. 
White is... I quite like the white, but it's nice and bright compared to... Compared to how he looks. Grey's a bit dull. Ooh, a nice copper colour. No, we won't go copper. Bit dark. Yeah, grey's a bit grey. I'm going to go for the nice white and shiny, quite frankly. Contrasts nicely with his hair colour. And so that is that. And now, of course, the hardest part. Title, the first protector, the emperor, the first guardian, the empress. He is the first guardian. His name. The diligent rodents. The diligent rodents. Who are you calling rodents, my friend? How dare you? So his race name will uh, obviously need to be redone. His last name is not going to be Ironheart. And his first name is not going to be Snacks. Now, this is, ladies and gentlemen, the hardest part I ever have with these games. And I don't know if in these games, I mean most games, is naming characters. Because it always has to be glorious, and it will be glorious. He's going to be first guardian. Whiskers. He's just going to be first guardian Whiskers. He doesn't even have a surname. He does not need a surname. He will fight for his people. And when, and only when he has proven himself, will he rest. And maybe, maybe then the people will have given him his surname. Maybe then he will become part of a glorious rat house. But until then, he is just first guardian Whiskers. Although... Hmm, maybe it shouldn't be Whiskers. Maybe we should get some of the red stuff in here. Whiskers. No, first name. Biomain. I'm going to double check in a minute, ladies and gentlemen, that that's how you spell main. Because I don't want this to go wrong. Give me one second, folks. Main. Uh, I think I've spelled that wrong. No, I've spelled it correctly. Fantastic. So, Fire Main Whiskers. He does have a surname. I take back that previous bit of story lore I put in. It's no longer canon. It never happened. He shall be called Fire Main Whiskers. Remembered by his glorious red hair. And his perfectly straight whiskers. He shall never let his people down. His passion goes through the color of his hair and the blessing he received from deep under the mountain. And his people will follow him anywhere. He stands above the crowd and he shall be counted being the first to defend the glorious dot dot dot. Hold that thought. Um... The glorious, the glorious mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. I don't know, I can't really think of other words other than, other than uh, rat or rodent. I don't want to call them rodents. I know rats are rodents, but I don't know. Sounds derogatory to me. Rodent-like beings whose groups are often referred to as mischiefs. They move with uncanny agility, much to the jealousy of other beings. They work together to bring down even the largest of foes. They have respect for smiths and other artisans, preferring a strong wall over a decorated palace. They are inspired by unique constructions and the ancient wonders of old. They are pioneers and settlers, founding cities wherever they go. The mountain. Uh, Hang on, folks, I'm going to have to go grab some more inspiration.
the mountain Norans. Because no matter where they go, they would. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I can't even finish the cannon. I just. I can't do it. We're gonna keep mountain. 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 Ooh. Biomain's followers. There you go, they have now been named. This set of rats have been through thick and thin with their glorious leader, Firemane Whiskers. And deep in the bowels of the biggest mountain, they pledge their allegiance, allegiance before the glorious lava flows, which they will use to make their city anew. After facing horrible devastation, and being cast out of their previous homes by people who thought they were nothing better than rebels. They shall rise up. They shall forge a new world following their glorious leader to harmony, sanctity, and perfection of the smith. There you go. It's now canon, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go onwards. So we are, of course, starting the first story mission, Rise of the Goda, Valley of the, the Wonders. when the raw forces of magic returned to Athla. The seal that had protected the world was shattered. The cosmic currents thereby unleashed shaped the land, changing what was whilst returning what once may have been. In the wake of this new genesis, the great empires of the Third Age fell into decline, bringing on an era of re-exploration and expansion. Alas, the time for peaceful discovery was brief, for the ancient wizards of the Second Age broke free from their eldritch prisons in the depths of the Astral Sea. Their strength regained, they set out to rule over the surviving peoples as God Kings, or Godia. There was little divine about them. Yaka, Nimue, Carissa, a pantheon of pretender gods. They were scarred, corrupted, haunted by millennia of torment, and ready to unleash their newfound powers against whoever dared stand in their way. Yet the wizard kings were not unchallenged. Mortal champions rose to the defense of their people, rebuilding their realms and learning to channel the currents of magic. This is the story of one such champion. While traveling through the Valley of Wonders in search of a new home, tragedy befell her tribe, its elder slain by a magical being. After inheriting both the elder's throne and their powerful tome of magic, the young champion had to rise up and protect her people from the dangers that awaited. Pretty sure I have a him. But okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at that dude. Firemain Whiskers. A new ruler emerges. Explore your surrounding and expand your domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choices will shape the new age of wonders. We of course then got the Tome of Rock. We are Ratkin with quick reflexes with overwhelm tactics. We are industrious. We to chose Wonder of the Ancients and Adept Settlers. Now I'm just going to quickly hover over these if you want to pause and read any of these. If you have skipped to this point to see the start of the mission, feel free. Starting Magic. A battle spell that heals for 20 temporary hit points and gains two bolstered defense. Or a rock blast, something that deals 30 damage. 
Hmm. I'm going to go offend. Oh, no, wait. I start with both of them. Sorry. I thought I had to choose. Ha. And there is my glorious leader, Biomain Whiskers. A new door. We have a battle quest. Play three units and build one improvement. Long have the Firemane's followers wandered Alpha as exiles. O oh, First Guardian Firemane Whiskers, by leading them to this valley, you have returned to them their hope. The proud city of Bulwark represents a new beginning for your people. They are eager to stride beyond the city gates and claim the surrounding land as their own. To expand your domain, hunt down the creatures near Bulwark and grow your new population. To place your first farm. Let this journey of us Firemane's followers begin. Reward, city stability, mystery bonus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, quite frankly, I think the city name of Bulwark is terrible. So, on this note, if you have any city names you would like to have put into this game, please do put them down into the comments below. I will definitely be renaming all of my cities from the original names they will be giving us. So, as I said, please, please, please do write your city suggestions in the comments below because Bulwark is not staying. That's all I can tell you. So, if we look at our city, I believe we can annex this already, the Crystal Thicket, because as part of being ancient builders, ancient industrial... Well, I can't even remember what it was anymore. We do get one ancient wonder next to us, which has already been cleared. So that will give us plus 22 magic, which is a huge and glorious start, and plus 5 Imperium. So we're going to go and chuck that down to begin with. We also have lots of gold mines. One of which... Oh, sorry, that's an iron deposit. My bad. That is a gold mine. Quarry income plus 5. Iron Deposit gives us plus 10 for that anyway. Of course, the farm still helps us produce a bit more because the river's there. And we still get the plus 10 from the gold mine anyway, so... You don't know. But no, I am going to throw down... Yeah, we're going to get the Crystalline Forest. Let's get that straight into our realm, quite frankly. And so we are going to, with our glorious army of Firemane, get straight on the attack, quite frankly. Although we're going to do that, we're going to end with the attack. Let's look at our building. Now I wish to build a workshop. None of this, I assume, is boosted because I don't think a Arcane Conduit boosts anything. We're going to throw a workshop down. And we are also... Thank you. Going to recruit plus one pioneer. So, let's go and smash the enemy, shall we? Although, yeah, why not? Let's start sending you south. Hello! Oh, I've met the Separatists! You meet Jerrica Wright, who parted ways with the Firemane's followers, loyal to her as your tribe entered. The Valley of Wonders. So we speak again, Firemane Whiskers. Jericho Wright says with a stern voice. Remember, we of Slackholm seek no quarrel. It was magic that caused the loss of our homeland. Magic that killed the elder of our tribe. When you took up the elder's tome, you ask for doom. We keep our distance. Invading all magic will keep us safe. We shall see what this means for the future of Firemane's followers. Let us formally begin a diplomatic relationship. So, Slagholm, we are going to give you a Whispering Stone. We only have one at this point, and that is us right there. We will have a Pact of Cooperation in four turns. And so, is this trying to say I'm trespassing? Claims on this province. Mana Node is occupied... Prospect this province yields production and gold or a hero item. Oh. Nice! So I get the chest place of fatality. I get plus two defense and plus ten hit points. I will take that reward. I will go to my hero and equip that. 
because he is going to be charging in and smashing people with a hammer. So that's absolutely glorious that that's happened. And so if we come off this, I need to build a farm, which I could have done from the beginning, to be honest. But we'll do that in four turns. So we're actually going to be a little bit behind, maybe, on that. It's a low-risk battle, but of course, we're going to jump in and fight it. We have a River Troll, who has a Razor Net. We have a Spirit Hawk, and we have a Spider, both of which can attack me. So let's jump into manual combat. I believe all of them are melee characters. Melee, melee. Oh, hybrid from the River Troll. I assume, is he melee? But he does do his Razor Net, which can go over four. 90% chance of inflicting immobilized for one turn. That's all right. I am simply going to... I'm going to bunch up a little bit. You could attempt to inflict the mobilized on me. That is correct. I'm going to grant my hero two defense. Because he is going to be the one charging in. Swinging like a madman. Taunt. Target enemy unit is inflicted with a base 90% chance of becoming taunted for three turns. It's uncontrollable and will always attack the unit that taunted it. Oh, very nice. Overdrawn Crossbow deals damage, cancels defense mode, and removes retaliation attack unless the target has charge resistance. Okay, well, no, we are simply going to end our turn there. Yep. We yes, said yes, thank you very much. We will enter defense mode. Let's have all of them skitter towards me. Now I can charge in like mad. Now, unfortunately, yes, we can't quite... All stacks. For each stack lost, they, uh, he doesn't have any stacks, though, unfortunately. So we're gonna... Oh, wow. How much health does the River Troll have? 100. Okay, 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 okay. 50 and 50. Of course, we have two spells. Only just 18... Oh, they're in defense mode, aren't they? That would be why. So we'll save the spell. We shall... I know it's overdrawn crossbow I'm thinking of, which I don't have enough action points for. We shall... Yeah, let's shoot the crossbow. Let's put a pile of damage. Let's get right in there. Boom! Look at the size of it, it's huge. We are not going to attack because the retaliation is better than the attack, quite frankly. We shall move you up a little bit. And... Oh, overwhelm... Oh, of course, overwhelm tactics. I forget about this. It's one of my things I need to remember about that. We will throw some magic bolts at you. And so... We shall end that turn there. Who hasn't had a go? Oh, these guys. Of course, yes. You will enter shield mode. End that turn there. Wow. Does more damage through the shield than... Oh, where do you think he's running? He's immobilizing me. How dare he? I assume I can still attack when I'm immobilized. I assume I just cannot move. Yes, yes, I can. Thunk. Two birds, one hammer. Uh, what we're going to do is... Overwhelm tactics. Let's get rid of the bird. Time bolster defense. Bolstering. To say bolster defense times three. All right, so we can heal him next turn. I'm actually going to get you to go into defense mode again. And I'm also then going to hurl a rocket this guy. 
Like the gods from the sky, the mountains become angry. And they throw their vengeance upon the poor innocent green spiders who are now dead. So let's end that turn there. That should very much reduce their damage towards me. Hey, oh, I don't like that though. I really don't like this. Okay, you, I need you to heal him. Thank you. Let's take him out, please. Morale is high. Charge has been blocked. Ah, uh, yes, what I should have done is attack with you first. 20 damage, 30 damage. Overdraw that crossbow. Ooh, very nice critical hit. And you've had your go. How much health have you got left? 39. I'm going to heal you up a bit more again. Just to make sure you survive, quite frankly. Yeah, I thought you could be coming in with some of that. Yes, did not like that at all. So we shall... Let's have you shoot in. There we have it, just because I wanted to see the glorious up front, close up, hammer strike. Oh, now that looked amazing, ladies and gentlemen. That's our hero wins the battle. Now, we did take a lot of damage on one of our units. Let's close that. Our shieldman did get kind of uh, beaten badly. The pastures. So we're going to go and grab some... Gives us plus 10 to our farms. So that's where we wanted to put our farm anyway. What's this? What are you guarding, my friend? I'm not quite sure. But we need some time to heal anyway. So let us set our arcane research. Steel Fury Chant. All friendly units lose all stacks of bolters defense and bolstered resistance. For each stack lost, they gain strengthened and fortune. Nice. Earthkin makes rock growths develop on the target race, granting them plus one defense, rock camouflage, and rock walk. Alright, I can also then get it so I can grab some gargoyles. We're gonna go for Earthkin. We're gonna improve our race right from the get-go. And we're gonna hit that end turn button. Good point. I wonder how many rulers there are in this. Mending the Schism. Pact of Vassalage with Slagholm. Following up on the long debate, one of the Steel Shapers from Bulwark approaches you eager to speak. As you know, my first guardian, not all of us Firemane's followers had the wisdom to follow your lead to Bulwark. Some became fearful of the magic that the Elder passed on to you. Our first guardian. They stayed with Gerica Wright to found Slagholm on their own. Will you seek out an ally with Slagholm to reunite the Firemane's followers? You will get race relation and a mystery bonus. Let's do it. And are they... They are Firemane's followers as well. Very nice. They are, in fact, my race. That is... That is amazing. So... What is required... You I want you to keep coming down here. Of course, that's where I should grab you next. The monastash. You are slowly healing. 18. A little bit more mana. What spells do I have? None on the strategic map. I need to take this guy out. I need to be very careful. I don't get killed. Shock unit. And vampire spider hatchling. Sounds disgusting. So 18 out of 74 and 71 out of 100. So let's hit that in turn button again. There was an unknown ruler around here somewhere. I look absolutely glorious. That's all I'm saying. And we have... Outpost costs minus 50% gold. Less. Take one less turn to build and start with the palisade wall structure. 
And that is all we have so far. We went up to 76. Yep, we gained 5 health apiece. A safe battle. We're going to jump into this one as well because I'm pretty sure I will lose my swordsman because I've mistreated them a little. Whoa, they had invisible units! This is not an easy fight anymore. This is not an easy fight. And they're archers, which is a pain in the ass. Grand defense. Oh, I've already moved you. I shouldn't have moved you. Couldn't have uh, done your thing yet. Let's end the turn there. They're charging. Yep, so won't take very long to get them in range. Overwhelm tactics for everybody. Very nice. I am... I'm really going to wait for them to come to me, except I'm going to start throwing rocks at them, quite frankly. I want to take out their ranged units. I have a piece of that. Yes. Yeah, you better stay back. Otherwise, somebody's gonna get hurt. Can he hit me? He can hit me. Bleeding resisted. Ooh, what a strike. Okay, now he's gonna come around the back and he is going to attempt to get this guy who is not feeling well. Yeah, let's take them out. Then what I'm going to do is... Take him out. Give him some strength and a bit more health. Blank him and kill him. And then keep you guys hiding. So, everybody has moved, yep, except he's going to be flanked, unfortunately. But, uh... Oh, the morale is low, they might flop, fumble. No, they didn't fumble. Only 15 damage, though. Let's shoot the crossbow, very nice. around to there and hit him. Doesn't make too much of a difference. And... And what does it cost me? It cost me 10. Ah, let's just kill him. Let's save what little health I can. Only regaining 5 per turn, so... Beautiful! Oh, we gained a rank. Got a rank on one of our units as well. And so yeah, we do need to we do need to keep getting that health going up, but now we have an infestation in here, which I want nothing to do with, quite frankly. And I think I'm gonna keep going up with this guy. I'll get my next scout to go over there and grab that. Orders required. You can keep coming down this way. Oh, hello! Sundrum's call. Ever since you arrived in the Valley of Wonders, lucid visions have appeared in your mind's eye. Now, a purposeful-looking elven lady comes into focus. Salutations, fire maid whiskers. I am Sundrum of House Ineoc. My people have guarded this valley throughout the ages, for better or for worse. Its fate is connected to our own. We have been watching you for some time. Other, powerful Goda have noticed your arrival too. Your essence emanates conflict, but also great potential. Listen to what I have to say, and you and your Firemane's followers may avoid meeting your end here. 
continue to listen. The pyromancer Yaka has broken free and returned to Alth Athla. His gaze is set on the Valley of Wonders. He is building up his infernal strengths and will not tolerate competition, especially from a fledgling mage like you. Like you. And I'm a champion. You must embrace the spark of magic that is awoken inside of you. Seek out the powers of nearby Tower of Destinies before Yaka does. If you don't prepare, Yaka will burn your settlements to the ground. Thundrum advises you to explore the nearby Tower of Destinies and use its powers to ward off Yaka. You have my gratitude, Sundrun of House Inioch. Together, we can take on even a Wizard King. And so I assume... Oh, here's the Tower of... It's a Gold Ancient Wonder, so we will do that at a later date. Because... As the Dragon Bone unit to the Rally of... Oh, hello, I get a, I get a Bone Dragon. I get a Bone Dragon! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wizard Bombardment Siege Project, which can speed up a siege using mana. Enemies cannot cast spells in combat in domain. Enemies cannot target world map spells in this domain. Huh. That's pretty good. This structure is going to be entered and fought by one army led by a hero. Now, I don't know if they'll be made more difficult by the fact that I'm playing on hard. But when I was playing on normal on the starter campaign, they roughly went that a bronze would have need about a 500, give or take. A silver would need about a thousand, so I'm assuming a gold will take at least a 1500 score army, which could take a while. You're going to go one to your right and gather some food for us. My ruler did level up, you are correct. Warfare, don't need archery bolstering. Once per turn, this unit gains bolstered defense when hit by a melee or physical ranged attack. Bolstered resistance when hit by a magic attack. Plus one defense, plus five percent evasion. Use physical damage, damage reduction, physical 41%. Ooh. Obsidian weaponry, base medium physical range attacks gain a base 60% chance of inflicting bleeding or sprint. Don't need battle magic. Experience leader, through sight, vigor. Plus 10 maximum hit points. We won't worry about that quite yet. We're going to put our defense up, I think. As we are going to be leading from the front. New Empire development available. I think you showed us this last turn, my friend. Military engineering. I'm not going to get it yet. Maybe when I think about outposts. And that will be the end of our turn, ladies and gentlemen. Opponents are moving. Orders are required. Let's go and grab you. Nice bit of 61 food. That'll go back to our city. And let... Keep coming down here. Oh, and there she is. That's the one we found. Flotsam. Oh, we'll uh, we'll grab that next turn. Orders required. Aha, my second hero, who is going to go and grab this. Another 42 mana. Ooh, which one's this? Ooh, I really want that one. Although I have to annex it, which is going to be a while off. Can we annex another... No, interesting. Oh, yes, we can. Sorry. I was about to say, because that was four turns, and that was two turns ago. What's going on? No, we've gained a population, and, and now it's three turns. We need to build a farm. Now, this gives us a plus... Ash just gives us plus ten. Farm income gives us plus five. So that'll be the best one we have. So we're going to go build a farm. And there you go. A new dawn aftermath. You have tamed the land around Bulwark and invoked a spirit of optimism and adventure in your people. They are staging a play that retells the story of how you led the Firemane's followers to safety. From the death of the Elder to the inherited tome to the schism with Jericho Wright and eventually the founding of Bulwark in the Valley of Wonders. The play in your honor will conclude with a promise for the future. How do you wish it to end? For six turns, we gain 32 city stability. And we can either gain 42 gold per turn. That's quite nice. 235 food, which will instantly gain us an extra population. 281 draft, which could help top of our army very nicely. Or we focus on magic. 
Uh, I'm tempted to go for the draft. I mean, 240 gold, 120 research over the turns. I am going to go for the draft. And then on that, because I have stupid amounts of draft, I am going to get Arbalast, another Anvil Guard, and that'll be me, although we can still keep grabbing stuff. Um, another Arbalast, and we now have turns back on it. Okay, we shall... Yeah, we're actually going to... Tell you to come back here. You can heal, basically. You can go straight up there. And you can kind of come and join them. Okay. Oh, I think... Oh, I'm at the top of the map. Am I in a corner? I am in a corner. Interesting. So all of the map is pretty much on our right. Which is very dense looking. It's all mountains. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So this should lead me to a dead end, technically. You have 28 health. We'll see how much you heal up. I can annex another province. We're going to go for... Gold? We're going to go for gold. Now, of course, we do have our special building, which will turn up at some point. We are going to make... Do we need to have a stonemason? We need two farms, which will get it boosted, which will make it cheaper. I am going to throw down the vendor to help keep that gold coming in. Brigand camp, which at this point is asleep. However, it won't be for long. The army is quite weak, so I think I might grab that on the way back, to be honest with you, and clear that camp out. An enchanted bloom that, that, what have we got? Ooh, I get a Whispering Stone. No, Whispering Stone's grant plus one allegiance, sorry. When annexed. Silver Tongue Fruit. Yeah, so I think I might get that on the way back. We've got some um, mana by the looks of it up there to grab. So let's hit that end turn button. And let us... Uh, so what do we got? Hunters from Beyond. Encounter Quest. For a brief while, your people had found respite in this Valley of Wonders. But now, panicked shouts start to echo in the streets of Bulwark. Doom is upon us, monsters from the beyond! Your scouts arrive shortly after the uproar. Creatures from the Astral Sea have been sighted near the city. The fear of the Fire Main's followers quickly leads to doubt. Was Gerica right? Right? <laughs> have your magic powers attracted the creatures from afar? To protect your people and restore their faith in your rule, you must seek out the Astral Sea monsters near Bulwark. And destroy them, I assume. What we are oh, they're up here, by the looks of it. That's not a problem. Let's chuck you in there. Does make my range a little bit less. That's alright, we'll clear off this guy. And grab his stuff. There's probably some invisible units, I feel, in there. But we now have a beautiful... Oh, I can go... I can start digging. Prospect of the province. Oh, wow. I can just prospect everything, quite frankly. Let's keep going past. Oh, we have an underground passage. We have learned Earthkin. Select some new research. Summon lesser stone spirit. Stone skin. Target gains stone skin, which gives me defense resistance, but less spirit resistance. Or Wayfinder Enchantment. Grants enchanted units very fast movement for my scouts. Let's go and grab that. I also then want to start grabbing Earthkin. That'll take us four turns. We're not very well magically inclined. And Bulwark produced a vendor because we got that nice little boost to our production. Let's go and throw down a stonemason. might fact yeah so let's take that off let's 
Is that now going to say it's going to take six turns? Because, yeah, fine. Uh, that may have been silly, but we're going to go chuck a farm down there. Three turns. So, no, it wasn't silly. It was cheaper and faster by a long way. I just wish I'd done that the other way around to begin with. Empire development skill is available. Province improvements grant plus one city stability for each adjacent province improvement of the same type. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We've also got it gains the ability to embark. I will eventually grab that when it becomes a problem, quite frankly. Farm, mine... Ah, the long way around. Farm, mine, farm. So, nothing adjacent at this point. Can be occupied by many things. There's a mana node, but it is occupied. Fireway main whiskers of Slaghold. Negotiations have succeeded. We now have a pact of cooperation. It opens its borders. Trading is enabled. Up to two resource trades are available. Magic resources can also be traded. Let's trade. You don't have any resources, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. You've already moved. So that is everything. Let's hit that in turn button. Let's, let's bring you up to there. Prospect Province. An Orb of Seeing grants plus three vision range and sensing range. Sensing range is the number of hexes within which the presence of units can be detected in the fog of war. Ah, prospecting takes all of your things. That's all right. We're not... Gonna go to the underground quite yet. Keep exploring the map. And just to confirm, I believe that was a weapon. No, it's aha. Uh -huh. I have an orb of seeing. Grants me plus three vision range. Nice. I can see the rest of the mountains now. And we're gonna end by fighting this guy. We have a butcher ogre. And some night guard. I have whatever feeling more stuff will turn up. Let's let's manual combat it again. We have a nice set of archers now. Don't tell me. Oh, it's just the two of them. Fantastic. They have no other reinforcements. So what I'm going to do. I'm gonna bring you slightly forward. Oh no, uh, yeah, wait, sorry, you can. You can actually go one forward, you can come there, you can come there, and you can give bolstered defense to fire main whiskers. And we're gonna let them come to us. Should probably double check what Butcher's Chop does. Always hits target enemy unit has a chance of being killed instantly. Yikes. We are now in range. That's all right. You do that. Everybody else just hang around and wait. We'll let them continue to come to us. But just cut resisted. I hope so. Wait, hang on. Let's overdraw the crossbow against him. Let's overdraw the crossbow. Ow! I've never had that happen before. Let's get behind this guy. I just butchered my own... I <laughs> took off like half the health. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Um, <laughs> also some more defense. <laughs> Just ow! Doesn't say. I wish it would it'd be nice if it said how much it was bolstering times two. Okay. Um, let's throw a rock at somebody. Let's throw a rock at you and decrease your numbers. The mountain got angry. Only one of them died. 
You can... Oh, the shield mode. <laughs> I really can't believe that just happened. Although I am glad that uh, he's not going to use Butcher Knife now because... It goes off the number of... The amount of missing health, so... Oh, they are being cut down so badly. <laughs> and he still didn't die. <laughs> Could all go horribly wrong! <laughs> Ooh, all of them straight to the face! Oh wow! <laughs> he had a big old hunk of ham on his back. So, there you go, we're gaining a bit more ranks. That's close. <laughs> I really can't believe I shot my dudes in the back. That was that was mildly painful to watch. So let's is that a th yeah, that's a way down there as well. Oh, so there you go. There's my there's my bandit camp, army of marauders, two archers and two hammer and shields. Yep. So it should be a fairly easy victory, although I really could do with some health. Let's end that turn there, although we are not going to quite hit that end turn button. Because unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the story elements I am trying to put in. If you are enjoying them, please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more or less of them. I will attempt to add some lore as much as possible. This is the story campaign. So, you know, let's get it going with as much fun as we possibly can. So, like I said, if anything in particular you'd like to see more or less of, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you've loved everything I've put in this episode so far. If you have, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the future episodes. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. We'll catch you in the next episode, folks.